Hello and welcome to another RadToots.com flash animation tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how to create random movement of an object. So the first thing we want to do is we want to draw our object and I'm just going to draw a gray box. And we're going to want to convert this to a movie clip and we'll call it, we'll just call it box. And we're also going to want to give it an instance name so we can control it with our action script. So there we go. I've created a box movie clip and I've given it an instance name of box. And now we can work on our action script. Now the way we want to approach this is we want to think about what our box is going to do. Now of course we're going to have our on enter frame. And this is going to execute every time our box enters the frame. But our box is also going to have certain behaviors. So you want to think about what is random movement. Basically our box is going to is going to pick a direction that it wants to move in. So this is one of the functions that we have to create. We'll call it uh, box.pick direction. And that's going to be a function. And then we're going to have to uh, we have to make the box move to that direction. So we'll make a function called move to move move there. We'll just call it move there. So it's going to pick a direction and then it's going to move there. And that's basically all we really need it to do. So when our box is picking a direction, we want it to pick sort of a random direction and our direction is going to have two components to it. It's going to have an X component and a Y component. So we'll make a uh, we'll call it X speed and that's going to be a random number. And we'll make it random between 1 and 5 and then we'll add 1 to it so that it's always going to be at least 1. So it's going to be 1 anywhere from 1 to 6 in this case. Actually, we, we want it also to be uh, have a possibility of being negative, so we'll subtract, we'll make this a 6, and we'll subtract 3 from it. So if this random of 6 is a 0, then it's going to be negative 3. If it's, it hits the maximum of 6, then we're going to subtract 3 from it, and it's going to be from anywhere from negative 3 to positive 3. And I just inserted a comment here. And let's copy and paste this line, and we'll do the same thing for the Y speed. Now, when we uh, when we pick our random direction, we also want to choose. Uh, we also want to indicate how long that our box is going to be traveling in that direction. So we're also going to need a variable called duration. Actually, that's already used, so we'll just call it uh, we'll just call it dur for short. And we'll make that uh, our duration is basically going to be how many frames. Uh, so for how many frames is it going to travel at this x and y speed? So if I'm working with a frame rate of 30 frames per second, then each 30 frames is going to be a second. So let's say we want it to travel for a maximum of three seconds. We're going to be dealing with uh, 90 frames here, and we'll just add 20 to that. Now let's also go ahead and type in our code that's going to make our box actually move. So we want the x and y coordinates of our object to increase by the speed, the speed variable of that object. Now, if we test this movie clip, it's not moving yet, and that's because we haven't picked our direction yet. So these uh, y speed and x speed variables have not been set yet. So if the first thing we want to do is we want to we want our object to pick a direction. So we call this function here pick direction, and that'll that'll set our x speed and our y speed and our duration. Now, we haven't incorporated the duration into our code here, so let's see what happens. 
So we can see that it's it's picking a random direction, but every time it enters the frame, it's it's picking a new direction. So it's just sort of jumping around every time. So what we need to do is we need to create a new variable and that's going to be our timer. So every time we pick a new direction we're going to set our timer to zero and our timer is basically going to keep track of how many frames our object has been moving in that direction. So every time we pick a new direction we're going to set the timer to zero and our duration is going to be uh, a higher number from 20 to 110. So every time our box enters the frame our timer is going to increase by one. Now we only want to pick a new direction when our timer has reached our maximum duration here. So we write an if statement and we say if this dot timer is greater than or equal to our duration. So if our if our timer has reached the duration we're going to pick a new direction. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, going to decrease our duration here for a little bit because I tested this and the box kept traveling off the screen. So I'm going to change the duration to anywhere between 10 and 40. Now if I test this code you can see our box is moving and it's not jumping around anymore and oh, it's going off the screen again we can see that it is changing directions. So it turns out we didn't actually need this move there function uh, because we were just using the onEnterFrame function to uh, to make the object move. So I'm just going to go through this code Pretty, pretty simple code here, only about 15 lines. So we've got our onEnterFrame function, and every time our box enters the frame, our timer is going to increase by one. And what that's doing is basically every frame, it's just adding one to this variable. So we're basically counting our frames here. And then we detect if the timer has reached the duration. So if it's greater than or equal to our duration, then we're going to run this function called pick new direction and every time it enters the frame th these two lines here just move the x and y coordinate of our object to increase by whatever our x speed is which is uh, which is set every time we pick a new direction and it's a random number here so every time we pick a new direction the timer it gets reset back to zero because now we're, we're plotting a new direction and we also set our duration to a new random number and we're setting our x y speed to a new number